All right, so today I'm gonna to walk through the process of adding a new unique ID field to a data model after you've already created it. Um, and why, why would you do this? So one example, so I'm building this chat product here um, and each of these chats are uh, conversations I've had with, with my um, AI bot. This is for scribs.ai, which is the project I'm working on. Um, if I open up one of these things, you can see I'm just using the primary key in the URL here. So this is, you know, chat number 80. One of the features I want to add now is the ability to share your chat publicly. So if I have a conversation with this bot and it gives me some useful question, useful answers, I want to be able to grab a link and send it to someone. The problem is uh, for this to be a public link, um, that means anyone on the internet can access it. And if this number is in here, then someone else can easily just say, hmm, 80, well, let me just see what you know, 79 is. And then they'll get you know, potentially some other chat. Uh, and so that's a problem. And so really what we want these things to be are sort of like longer UUID-like things, um, just like kind of longer strings. So how do we change that? So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add this, this chat ID field uh, to the chat model. So those, these things that we were looking at, those are chats. Um, they have a normal Django primary key, which is an integer ID. And now I'm going to add this chat ID as, uh, actually probably as a UUID field, UUID field. And, um, I'm going to set the default value to a UUID four, and I'm going to say, make that unique. So the problem is going to come when I try to create a database migration for this. So let's see what happens when I run make migrations. So we'll see here, it gives us this error, uh, which is that chat ID will not generate unique values upon migrating. So what, what that means basically is when you run the migration, this UUID, UUID4 thing, which usually generates a unique function, will, will just be called once and, and then every uh, chat in your existing database will end up with the same UUID, which will break the unique thing. And so uh, either we can edit that or we can uh, follow these instructions here. So we're going to follow these instructions um, that Django gives us in order to handle this. So what are these instructions going to have us do? And, and basically, we're going to create this thing in three stages. The first stage, we're going to add the field, but it's going to be uh, nullable and, and we're not going to populate it. Then we're going to write a data migration to populate the data. And then finally, we're going to add the null constraints. And that's, that's what these, these uh, instructions guide you through. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to choose option one, which will do this first step here. Um, then I want to generate uh, two empty migrations, which I'll do here. So make migrations chat empty. And we'll do that again. Okay. Next, we are going to copy the add field operation from the auto generated migration. So that's the first one to the last migration and change it to alter field. So we're going to go into our migrations folder. We'll see these three migrations that have been added. And it's essentially saying, take this thing, which adds the field and copy it in here. Next, we changed it to alter field and we have to add the imports, which we'll just grab from here. Done. Next, what we're going to do is edit the first migration and change unique equals true to null equals true. And so what this is doing is saying in that first migration, uh, the field is actually going to be allowed to be nulled. So this migration is going to add this field to our data model, but it's going to allow it to be null. Um, <clears throat> and then finally, we're going to copy this 
gen UUID stuff into our middle migration. And this is going to be the part that actually uh, adds the UIDs to our migration. So gen UID will replace this with chats, chats, chat, something like that chat.objects.all, import UUID. Yeah, cool. So this migration is now saving every, uh, a, a, new, a new fresh UUID onto um, every chat object. We could kind of, if we want, we could kind of watch this happen, which sometimes it's nice to, when I'm doing dev, I'll just add a print statement to migration. So you could just say something like setting, Let's see, row.uid on, so something like that, which will just tell us that uh, we're updating this. You know, I, I'm, I'm actually just, I'm gonna, uh, let's refactor this to chat just for clarity. Um, we'll also refactor the name of this, uh, Migration, we'll rename this to um, add unique chat IDs. And when we do that, we're also going to have to change this add unique chat IDs so that Django knows about the dependency. And I think that's it. So now we're gonna run this migration, and if we did everything right, hopefully what we will see is uh, it will add the column, then we'll see it print out that it's adding all these random new UUIDs to our chats, and finally, uh, uh -oh. the following field, oh, right. Little hiccup there. So we forgot to rename this, so it's uh, it's not chat.uduid, which was the example, but it's chat.chat.id. And we also used that same thing there, and we used it there. So hopefully that will now work. Yay. So now we've set all these unique IDs on our chats. And um, I suppose as a final step, we can now uh, in our, let's see, our URLs file, we can uh, replace this. I'll just do this first one, um, but we'll replace this. I don't know if that works. We'll start with string. Um, and now instead of saying ID equals chat ID, we'll say chat ID equals chat ID. This will be a stir. And uh, let's see, where we reverse that, we'll also have to update that. So let's see where we reverse that there, but that's not the right one. I need the file mask. There we go. Uh, so we'll change this to chat ID also. And now, fingers crossed, we refresh here. And we can see now, ah yes, these beautiful random IDs in our URLs. Um, so now we can shave these and, uh, you know, like if I try to refresh 79, it's gonna say, well, it's gonna say that's not a valid UUID. Um, which maybe we'll fix, turn that into a 404. But um, yeah, so that is adding a, uh, a new unique field to your model. If you wanna go so far as to, um, in your models, make this a primary key, you can also do that now. Um, and uh, that will delete the uh, previous uh, Django database IDs. Um, I don't have strong feelings about whether to do that or not. As long as you're consistent in your views, uh, 
then um, then you don't have to worry. So I hope that was helpful, and I will see you next time.